I'm Sarah Jane Guild. I'm a scientific consultant with AD Instruments. I'm going to walk you through some of the key features of the individual components of the Kaha Sciences mouse telemetry system. So this is the T-Base. The T-Base is both a wireless receiver for physiological signals from the telemeter and also a wireless power provider. This T-Base sits underneath the mouse cage You'll see an indentation on the top of the T-Base here, and that's where the mouse cage will sit. On the front of the T-Base, there's an LED indicator light that will be orange if the T-Base is not talking to a telemeter on the same channel, green if it is talking to a telemeter on the same channel, and red if the T-Base has shut down its wireless power for any reason. Because the wireless power field extends both above and below the T-Base, it's important that the T-Base not be placed on a metal surface or it will turn off its wireless power field. So shelving such as plastic or wood is ideal. Any neighbouring T-Bases or other metal components need to be kept 10 centimetres away side to side or underneath the T-Base, so we recommend a spacing, vertical spacing of 40 centimetres between your T-Base shelving to allow for movement of the, the cage, the wire cage top of the mouse cage. Out the back of the T-Base, we've got three BNC connectors and they are analog outputs, which can take the physiological signals from your telemeter to the AD Instruments Power Lab. And then there's also a power connector in the back of the T-Base as well. This is the mouse telemeter. It's designed to be implanted subcutaneously in mice 20 grams and larger. It has a concave side, which is designed to go against the muscle, and then the convex side, which goes against the skin. The biopotential leads are then tunneled directly to the site of recording. So that would be over the shoulder to the chest for recording ECG, or to the skull for the recording of EEG. The mouse telemeter doesn't contain any batteries. It's powered directly by the T-Base. So if it's on a T-Base set to the same communication channel, it will be powered whenever it's within seven centimeters of the vertical surface of that T-Base. A key troubleshooting tip for setting up your mouse telemetry system is that you should always change the channel of your mouse telemeter before you implant it in your mouse and you need to change the channel of your telemeter before you change the channel of your T-Base. And the reason for that is that the, there's no battery in the mouse telemeter, so it needs to be on the T-Base set to the correct channel in order for it to be powered to enable the channel change to occur. So always change the channel of your telemeter before you change the channel of your T-Base. The telemeter will be powered whenever it's within seven centimetres of the surface of the T-Base. So it's important to keep that in mind when you're preparing your mouse cage. If you have something that the mouse can climb on that will enable it to go out of that seven centimetre range for a long period of time, then you may lose your signal for a period of time until it drops back within that seven centimetre range and starts being powered again.